20th Founders Day, which will be uh, tomorrow, I can't help but to look back at the, at the first decade and now God has brought us into the second decade. And just looking back at the, the first decade and how God uh, gave us the, the property, the promise, and even the start of a ministry, we thank him that even in the second decade, we see the, the growth, we see the prosperity. In the first decade, he brought us from transition. And even in the second decade, he brought us even through a pandemic and allowed us to thrive and allowed us to grow. And we thank him for that he has not only allowed us to go further, but he has allowed us to go wider in ministry. We have gone into Kenya. We've done ministry in Haiti. We've done ministry and we're doing ministry in prisons. And we're reaching out to the nursing home and even into other homes. So we thank God for that. And as we look back, we're excited about where he's taken us to in the future. And we thank him that even the transition we had a few years back from a senior pastor, founding pastor to a lead pastor, the order and the standard of the house has been maintained. And we just thank God for our founding pastor and I mean for our lead pastor. And we thank God for Monica, our first lady, and the entire Pastor Carlos family. And we ask that not only will he bless this Founders Day, but he will bless this family. Amen. I am eternally grateful that God has allowed me to be a part of the great work that he has done at New Birth. And it's been awesome to be up close to witness his miracle working power. Uh, I've grown in my faith through the years and for that reason, I am excited about what God has planned next for New Birth. I know without a doubt, he has begun a great work in us, and I know he's gonna perfect that work unto the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, when I think of the last 20 years, I can't help but think of um, first my children because they've grown up at New Birth. Um, we were just having a discussion last night about the history and how New Birth even started that we realized that they really didn't know um, the history of it and, and how good God has been other than what they've seen. But we just explained to them just, you know, how faithful God showed himself these past 20 years um, and that ha it's just been truly a part of our lives and our family. And just to see all the great, great works um, that we were able to do as a church family, um, you know, it's, it's just amazing to, to see um, just the glory of God through all of that. And we're just so thankful for our founding pastor and founding first lady for setting the example of, of faith and how to look to God for, for everything and just to follow his lead. And when we do that, um, you know, not only do we, you know, are not not only are we successful, but we also get to see his glory in all of the things that we do, um, whether it be the children's ministry, women's ministry, men's ministry, um, like Pastor Farnsworth said, Pastor Coleman said, the, the Kenya missions and the Haiti missions and all the things that we have done. And we're just praying, you know, for God's strength and his favor and his faithfulness to for the next 20 years and beyond to see what all um, he will bring forth through New Birth. Just so grateful. When I think about uh, our 20 year celebration, um, when you're in the middle of it, it just, it seems like it's forever uh, when you're in the middle of the work. But when you look back on it, it seems like it was yesterday we had that <laughs> small meeting, uh, 62 individuals committed uh, to God's work and to Pastor Coleman as their uh, visionary as well as their leader and so when I think back on that a um, couple things I think about is number one foundation um, if you set it up right it'll run right um, and we established order from the very beginning um, really revamped a lot of things that people can have from church hurt from traditional religion uh, and so just revamped all those things so people could come and try to forget their past 
and start working on their future in Jesus. And the second thing I think about when I think about the last 20 years are people. Uh, my father taught us you can do a lot of things as his father taught him, but you can't do them by yourself. And so I'm so grateful for the many hands that were put to the plow, even those who came and God has moved them on as well. Uh, but the people, the relationships, the laughter, um, mm -hmm. the work, uh, the due diligence, um, and all of that over the years. So, so grateful for the relationships that have been developed uh, throughout the years and so thankful for our church for nourishing our family as well as our children um, that they're, we're almost finished with them out of the house. And I'm <laughs> glad to report that each one of them still love church. I'm Amen. so glad about that. that, that you don't even understand the miracle that is. So yes. celebrating Founders Day. Happy Founders Day, everybody. <laughs> All right. Happy Founders Day, 20 years that um, I've been been part of this ministry, even though I was incarcerated most of the part of it. I thank everyone that was at New Birth that put in the prayers, put in the attention, uh, even in writing me, you know what I'm saying? And then even... Even my father, uh, he came to the prison to preach and was ministering a, a bunch of people that I was incarcerated with. And it was just a wonderful thing, you know, these 20 years uh, being a part of New Birth and then actually now being a part of it out here is, is just a wonderful thing. And I'm just really grateful for my family and the prayers that they put in, you know, uh, uh, on my behalf. And it's just, it's just great to be here. Well, when I think about the last 20 years um, here at New Birth, it's just been, it's been a blessing to watch and see my grandparents and my parents, just the sacrifices they made for this community. Um, it's hard to believe all the friends and people I've met um, here at New Birth. Um, one thing I'm really proud of, proud of, of New Birth is just that, how selfless, you know, the mission is and how we really make an effort to serve God's kingdom. Um, whether it's just serving people through Turkey Tuesday ministry, and then to see you know the Emmanuel Prep School to come to this day, just how they've had a vision. My father, my grandfather, and they've actually brought things to you know to reality. Um, it's just such a great thing to be able to watch and grow, and um, it makes me really proud to be a part of this ministry for all my life. And um, yeah, that's that's what I think about um, New Birth for these last twenty years. <laughs> Growing up with New Birth has allowed me to see uh, so much love and support throughout my years of childhood and teenage years. And ever since I left for college, I haven't been able to find a church as loving and supportive and just open as New Birth. It's become a second home for me. And I'm so blessed to have experienced that. And being able to come back every time I'm back in town has been the best feeling. Happy Founders Day! Every day. Every day. Family. Singing. I love, I love arts and crafts. Um, the Bible. Happy Founders Every day. I can't remember my friends. Um, I love my friends. Learning something new. Playing with my friends. Learning about God. Thank you for 20 years. Happy Founders Day. Thank you, Pastor Pat and Pastor Colby, for your faithful service. Congratulations. Thank you for everything that you do, and we really appreciate it. Rebecca Tuesdays, write the vision and make it plain. Thank you, Pastor Coleman and Pastor Pat, for making it plain. Happy Founders Day. Let's try it. Happy Founders Day! Happy 20 Founders Day. We love New Birth. Hey guys, happy 20th Founders Day. I'm so glad to be a part of this church. Make great memories. Met some great people in this church is a blessing to be a part of. Happy 20th Founders Day, y'all. I'm so happy to be a member of this church. It's become a huge impact on my life, and I've met so many great people here. 
Happy 20th Founders Day. I'm so glad we can remember this church. Um, Pastor Carlos, you've done so much for me in my life and I can't thank you enough. Happy 20th Founders Day to my new birth family. I am so excited for you all and I don't know where my faith would be without you all in my life. Congratulations. Uh, new birth reminds me of a spiritual relationship with Christ. When I first got here, I think I was sort of spiritually dead, but I was revived. I felt the, the moment that Christ really entered my life once again, uh, walking through the doors at this church. My connection with New Birth has changed my relationship. I've gotten a little more involved, but one of the largest things that changed my relationship was when my husband first came here, he was really not connected to the church before, but once he got to New Birth, he was all in. He wanted to do everything that he could possibly do to uh, increase his spiritual life. Just wanna say thank you to New Birth Outreach Church for accepting us with open arms and we have just uh, loved every moment of being here. And even though our children grew up and, and moved on, we I am still here, and so I'm loving every moment. So come join us. Upbringing. I think that it laid the foundation from the beginning. This is all of our members' church. And so really learning about faith um, and believing, I think it had an integral part in my upbringing and growing up and laying my foundation. Other than Happy those two Founders questions? Happy Founders Day! Um, but uh, the word that comes to mind when I think about new births is family. Everybody here is so close and we always helping each other out and, you know, just pouring our feelings into each other so you know that we love each other. New birth has strengthened my relationship with Jesus, going through like classes. Um, from when I was little, I remember going to Sunday school and going to Bible study and going to classes too. So it really helped me with hearing other people's perspective of God and giving examples and helping us learn what uh, God is to us and just strengthening our relationship. I, uh, I just want to thank all the deacons and ministers and everybody else who been loving on me and helping me through this hard time. I uh, thank all of you and I just appreciate all y'all because I didn't really know I, all these people at church really love me and Jaren like that. So I thank all y'all. When I think about new birth, I think about a magnet. And I say that because the word is delivered. The word of God is delivered for all of those, the hurting, the lost, even the found, the word is delivered here. And my relationship with Christ since I've been a member of New Birth has changed drastically. I have a relationship with him. And there's a difference with just knowing him and actually having a relationship. So New Birth has been the foundation of me founding, finding my relationship with Christ. Pastor Coleman and Pastor Pat, happy Founders Day. Thank you for listening to the word of God. In Habakkuk 2 it says, write the vision and make it plain you have written the vision and it's plain right before our eyes god bless the one thing that comes to mind when i think of new birth is family um, the warmth and the love that this church has when you come here and when you become a part um, it just it, it feels like home and uh, while being here i've had the opportunity to uh, meet my husband and we have expanded our family as a result of the faith and the support that this church has given and so I just I cannot think about our church home without thinking about family and that's what it means to me being here um, my my relationship with God has um, increased I understand that I have a direct connection with him it has taught me uh, the applications, the scriptural, scriptural, uh, biblical applications um, of life and um, how I can rely on God and his word to help me through the most difficult times of my life. I've uh, been through some challenges and uh, this church has been right there with me, praying with me, supporting me, encouraging me. And uh, what it has taught me is that, you know, no matter what, we have a unit here, but I can always rest on God. Uh, he has me for all of my needs, and he is the source. And I'm grateful for learning that through my faith and my walk that I have a, a renewed and an enhanced relationship with my father.
from. I am grateful for what I have um, learned and uh, experienced with this church. I'm so proud to see the growth through the years. Um, it has been phenomenal over the past 17, 18 years since I've been here. And uh, what this church is doing uh, for our community is amazing. And so what it was founded on, it is just elevating and I am I'm blessed to witness it. So congratulations on the 20th Founders Day. And I'm so proud to be a part of this church family. The one thing that comes to mind when I think of new birth is purpose. I believe here at New Birth, everyone who walks through our doors gets the opportunity to live out their purpose, um, to, to, to give their gifts um, back to service to God, and to just be able to live out, whether it's just for a, a short season or a long season, it's definitely a place where you can find your purpose and live it out for the glory of God. Being at New Birth, my relationship with Jesus um, has only grown each and every year, each and every day. Um, but the main thing that I feel that has affected me in my relationship with Jesus is that um, being able to experience the kind of love that he calls for the church to give. I think our church is just full of that love, um, especially when you interact and work with each other. Um, and just how we feel about each other overall. Um, I know there are people that have come and gone from new birth, but our love for them still stays within our hearts and our prayers stay with them. And it's just, just taught us, taught me more about the love of Jesus. All right. And I'd just like to say thank you, new birth, for 20 years, 20 years of that love and of service and just um, being a family. And I'm just looking forward to 20 more. Love you all. Happy Founders Day. And when I would think of the church, I think of it as happy, joyful, and laugh, and there's a lot of laughter in it. And I like Sunday school and VBS. It was very fun and educational, and everyone encourages people and loves on each other. Happy Founders Day, bye. The first thing that comes to my mind is when we actually first started attending here. We actually came on the first Sunday that the congregation moved to this site. And we attended on the first Sunday, then we came back the second Sunday. And my husband said, well, we need to check out Bible study. And when we checked out Bible study, we said, this is it. Uh, so the preaching brought us here and actually the teaching kept us here. Along that same line, though, we was interested in hearing the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. The teachings on Sunday morning and also the Bible study. So that was one thing that brought, kept us here uh, throughout the years. My relationship has changed because even as a child, I was taught to have faith. And I've always heard that faith is like a muscle and you have to exercise it in order to strengthen it. So in my growth here, I have been able to actually strengthen that muscle and have just a deeper belief in and a deeper trust in, in Christ Jesus. We had similar thoughts in that same area in reference to uh, our relationship with the Lord. Um, the faith being exercised throughout what I've been seeing here with Pastor Fonsberg and uh, the board and everything. But anyway, along the same line is, like I said, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I've been able to have a deeper relationship with my Lord. When I think about new birth, I think about family. New birth for me has been the dedication of my grandson and even the, the uh, home going of my daughter, London. So I think of family, support, and love when I think about new birth. Joining New Birth has made me become a more dedicated follower of God's Word that stretched me and made me become a true believer and even forced me to come to uh, realize what I'm not doing as a Christian and uh, begin to look at those things I need to do to change myself to be a member of God's kingdom. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about New Birth is family. 
I feel like I have created um, a lot of connections here. My family is not here, so New Birth has been my family since I lived, started living here. My relationship with Christ has improved. I read and I study his word more. Um, I have learned practical lessons that I apply to my everyday life. So the first thing that comes to mind when I think of new birth is love. Um, when my husband and I were looking for a church home, uh, we came to new birth and we were received with open arms and um, that love just has been there ever since. My relationship with God has been impacted um, by just being a member of the clergy. Um, I've seen my growth over the years, um, just learning the word of God and being steadfast in his word. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about new birth is family, unity, and love. Since being becoming a member here, my walk, my ministry has been stronger. It has made me made me more more able to uh, to witness, make me a stronger witness, and just I've seen a lot of great things, and I just love my walk with God now. Um, one of the first things that I think about when I when when I when I hear about new birth or is just like my wife is love, um, and not just love, but genuine love. When we came here first, um, we, we we witnessed the love of everyone. We were embraced. We were welcomed at new birth. How new birth has changed me. Um, one of the one of the, one of the ways that new birth has changed me is a married couple's ministry. This is the first church that we've been to at a married couple's ministry, and even though we were married for ten years, it still changed the course of our marriage because of that married couple's ministry. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about new birth is growth. Uh, seeing the church grow as the church as a body seeing it grow professionally and of course seeing families grow and of course growing spiritually so growth in all aspects has been the first thing i think when i think of new birth uh, new birth has increased my walk with jesus um, just through being here working and being active in the ministry never thought i would be this active in a ministry but being here is kind of like going to the gym you know you go in more often you learn more you see more you see more people's walks you see more examples so that's really helped me you know be active and give back and also get so much more than I've been able to get. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of new birth is family. Um, I have been able to laugh, uh, cry, praise God, um, and just be with my sisters and brothers at new birth, which I love. The one thing that I think about as new birth is truth. Um, the word comes forth here. Uh, you can't have a sit down here without taking something away. Mm -hmm. And it's made me a better man, a better husband, a better father, and also it's made me a better community man. Uh, my relationship with Jesus um, has been impacted by that I chase after him. Um, I chase after the word, I read the word, but I'm also studying the word more. Uh, it's impacted me um, more so in community and being uh, a disciple and learning what that means, um, learning how to uh, understand the meaning of what will you do for the least of them. Um, that's made me a better person, and I don't think I would have got that anywhere else. When I think about our church, I think about how it stayed true to its name. Over the years, we have birthed new ministries like Matha Tees, Life Groups, Life Bridge, Kenya Missions, Community Outreach. And through that, God's light is shining and connecting with people. And I have grown through that by just learning how to better position myself so God can work through me and being a continual learner, aligning myself with him and his plan and purpose for my life. New birth. When I first think of new birth, I think about family, community, love. Because uh, when I first come here, I was looking for a, a home, a person to serve. And when I got to New Birth, you are welcoming the family. They opened their arms. They just it was so much love. And I know that since I've been around, I've seen that New Birth works, lives, minister with the purpose, with the community, whatever. 
what we given back and how we give back to the community. And I wanted to be a part of that. And I wanted to grow in Christ. And here I found good ground. So this is where I want to be and this is where I feel that my purpose is. And that's why I'm here. Uh, learn how to live with a purpose. Live with giving back. Not always just taking, 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 taking. Giving back where you look for an opportunity to give back. You know, uh, uh, I'm still a baby in Christ, but I'm, I'm studying. I want to learn. I want to be better. So that's why I'm here, and that's 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 what my life is all about right now. Being all right. part of Christ's kingdom. The first thing that comes to my mind when I think of New Birth Outreach Church is welcoming. It's a church that basically stands true to its motto, come as you are and leave better. I'm excited at what God is doing in the season at this great church, and I just can't wait to see what is going to happen in the next 20 years. My relationship with God has been impacted tremendously and in and, and the way that I have the holy boldness where I want to go out and teach, I want to go out and love, I want to go out and share, and I just want to go out and encourage people to love and to give of themselves so that they may be saved as God has saved all of us. Uh, I think about fellowship and family and how you always have people to go to when you're in need. I think of New Birth as my second family because ever since I was a little baby I've been shown support, love, and care growing up. Uh, it has shown me how to live my life for God and how to spread His Word. Uh, all the sermons and teachings I've been taught have shown me how to live my life for Christ everywhere I go. First thing that comes to my mind when I think of New Birth is family. New Birth has always been a support system for me. I've always felt like I can go to anybody for advice whether it's just life advice or advice for my relationship with God. And I feel like being at New Birth, I've been able to grow in my relationships with people and I've been able to grow in my relationship with God. The date was August the 21st, 2002. Pastor Farnsworth Coleman Sr. and Patricia Coleman and 61 individuals started out on a journey to serve God by way of a church. New Birth Outreach Ministries was birthed. When we reflect back on these 20 years today and we think about what all God has brought us through in ministry, I can think of many things to share with you that were special. But one of the first and most pivotal moments was the night we needed to meet to decide if we would move forward with a church under the leadership of Pastor Farnsworth Cole Sr. That night required a deposit from five men to step up and do what was a large task 20 years ago. And they only had a number of hours to come up with the fee to just to be able to have a meeting in a building where we would have church. And those men stepped up along with Pastor Coleman and made history that day. So much has gone on since then. Ministries have grown. Uh, we had church service there on Norris Road. It was amazing as the families began to come and we offered a new way or a new opportunity to do church uh, without the religion attached to it. And so as we became New Birth Outreach Church, of course, outreach is in our name. So it was very critical for us to move forward in helping the community. Soon after that, just a couple years after we were on Norris Road, uh, we struck out and purchased our first track of land in North Columbus, 26 and a half acres. Uh, did that and broke ground on that in 2009 in the sanctuary that we're now having church in. Uh, followed that with 12 acre purchase a few years later and then a three acre purchase with the home on it down the street and then God blessed us just last year with five commercial acres as a gift as this has become the place that we deem as holy ground. The 
marriages, the children being born, the healings, um, the demons being cast out, people getting better. Our slogan is come as you are and leave better. And over the years, God has blessed us with so many individuals who have put their hands to the plow so that we can do ministry the way that God intended it, so that we could be a relational church, teaching the uh, teachings of Jesus Christ to all who would come and they would be available to them. So just reflecting back on the years and what God has done through our ministry from the uh, very risky years of acquiring land but no real promise to build and then striking out building our first sanctuary with a really a small congregation. It continued on until Pastor Coleman uh, broke ground on the Future Life Center and also announced his retirement uh, in 2013. And in 2014 came the shift where he retired uh, in October and I took the mantle in November. Uh, following a very charismatic leader, a preacher's preacher, uh, for years, following a great leader, the pressure of that and the pressure of actually having uh, all 43,000 square foot of space and the largest debt that our church would carry uh, in its history um, has been quite the challenge. But God is able, even through a pandemic, God has not only sustained us, but he has increased us. Even in a time when people are closing their doors or doing less in ministry, we have experienced our largest outreach just last year, $50,000 in one day to our community uh, in our annual give day off the heels of the pandemic. So proud of what we've done here. It hasn't been done by just one family, but it's been done by the numerous leaders who have come through our church and have said, Lord, send me like Isaiah. I'm so grateful for you to join us today to help us celebrate what God has done through our ministry for 20 years. And we're believing God for what he's going to do for the next 20 years. Thank you so much for being a part of our special day. And God bless each one of you.